Hello everyone, this is Mike with the Stock and Options Room at Shadow Trader. I want to talk a little bit today about the value of a long-term chart, a weekly chart, sometimes a monthly chart, and what they can be telling you in the larger scale that helps you make decisions in the near term. Now here's the 10-year chart. I did a short on this uh, not that long ago, but I'm revisiting it here because this pattern continues to show me something that I believe is very uh, important for the conversation around bonds and interest rates, which we all know is a big deal right now in the markets. So um, I, I, that's why I'm revisiting this. What I'm seeing here is is pretty obvious. I think you can see. I, I periodically will see this in a chart, and it shows the rolling over pattern of a of a chart of a particular market. You can actually see this right now if you want to have some fun and go look at the gold futures chart, the continuous contract. You can see this same pattern that has that suggested that gold was going to be struggling with price. But in this case, I want to just highlight the fact that we are having a lesser and lesser energy being put into the bullish side on the 10-year interest rates. And that's very valuable information. If you recall my last video, we talked about this line right here where the, there's a common zone through here, I'll go ahead and blow this up to a daily, that the, that the interest rates are trading around. And I've highlighted, when I made the last video, I think I was talking about it right about here. Now we've had all of this transpire. I can't remember actually where it was when I talked about it. But now it's come back down and it's built, built a small consolidation pattern right here. And it tested this zone again from underneath. To me, because of these lines, and I'm going to go back and talk about those lines a minute, I often will draw them to be more of a zone than a, than a pinpointed location on the chart. Because it's, I find that I trade better if I factor my trades in for uh, risk with zones rather than a pinpointed location. I end up with more stop outs and whatnot if I do that. Uh, if I try to get too fine-tuned with my with my risk, but anyway, uh, we're we're back underneath here again and threatening this trend line. So if you keep in context here what's going on and what has been going on to the left, this does not bode well for this price to uh, to uh, hold above here. It feels like we're trying to head lower. Now I said that back here. I know that, but. Uh, there's not a person on that walks the face, face of this earth that can tell you exactly what's going to happen for sure. Um, but now I'm seeing that we have more MGI. We've built a lower high here from up here. And um, I'm, I'm feeling like this is giving us a heads up that rates are heading lower in the, in the not too distant future. So however you um, uh, interpret this chart as far as the, how it's applied to your trading, this is important to note this for keeping track of the inverted yield curve, uh, comparing it to the two-year chart, obviously the TLT, which we've talked about um, between Peter and I in our, in our videos over the last month or so that we feel bullish on. This chart shines a slightly different angle that, that paints a picture for the bullishness in the bond market as well, because as we all know, they... If the interest rates are heading down, the, the bonds are going to go up. So how to play this is, a, is a, possibly a little bit tougher, but a short trade even right here in this area, right as it falls back into this box pattern right here. This is a very viable, low-risk proposition to see if we're going to fall out of there. So however you decide to play that, I just thought maybe it would be helpful to point out the larger picture here of what's going on with rates as I see it. Hi, my name is Mike, and I'm one of the moderators for the new Shadow Trader Stock and Options Room. Thank you for joining me for this video today, and if you enjoyed it, hit the like and subscribe buttons below. You know, I'd like to invite you to join me in the new Stock and Options Room. We've got some good trades going, studying some great charts, and learning some great stuff together. In general, there's a lot of great content there that I think you would benefit from. So, until then, I wish you good trading, and I'll see you in the room.